Hello friends! Today is Tuesday, the first week of Lent, and the title for our devotion today is The Pelican and Her Young. I gotta tell you friends, I am so intrigued by that title. I'm so curious to know how our scripture passage and our devotion is going to reveal what this title is all about. So let's get into it. So we're gonna take our Bibles and we're gonna open them up to John 10 so that we can read seven through 11 together. Now, for some of us, this is going to be very familiar, but it doesn't have a single thing to do with a pelican. You're not gonna hear pelican at all in this. So don't listen for pelican, just listen to what Jesus is telling us in this passage right here. Listen to how much he loves and cares for us in this passage, okay? Okay, so go ahead and press pause, look this up on your end, and when you're ready, you press play again, and we'll read it together, okay? Okay, are you all set? I am too. So John 10, seven through 11 says this. So Jesus again said to them, truly I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who came before me were thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief though, mm, he comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. And you know that good shepherd who lays down his life for the sheep? is what this season of Lent is all about. Now, let's get into our devotion and find out what it is talking about when it says the pelican and her young. An ancient legend tells how the mother pelican provides food for her young in times of famine. With her sharp pointed beak, this bird pierces her own chest, causing droplets of blood to seep out. The young pelicans then drink their mother's lifeblood so that they won't die of starvation. Wow. Christians have adopted a picture of a mother pelican and her young as a symbol for the season of Lent. I did not know that. Did you know that? I wonder if I knew that somewhere in my mind and I just haven't thought about it in a really long time. Hmm. Nothing comes to mind though. This symbol reminds us that Jesus gave his blood to save all people from eternal death and in the Lord's Supper, he feeds us his own body and blood. Without Jesus, there would be nothing but sin and evil in the world. No one would love God or be able to go to God's home in heaven. But the blood of Jesus has washed away our sin and given us new life. We depend completely on our savior as young pelicans depend on their mother for life. During Lent, the prayer for this devotion will help us remember to give thanks for the great sacrifice that Jesus made that we may have life and have it abundantly. Let's pray. Glory be to Jesus who in bitter pains poured for us the lifeblood from his sacred veins Grace and life eternal, in that blood we find. Blessed be his compassion, infinitely kind. Amen. Amen. And you know, I wonder if some of you know that those are the lyrics to a hymn that we sing on Sundays um, and throughout the Lenten season. I wonder if that sounds familiar to you. It definitely did to me. Well, if you've never heard it before, it is a great prayer. You might want to rewind and go back and listen to it again. I love you so much, friends, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.